Yeah, we got that much stuff on Wednesday. There was that much, but I did not get a chance to check out every single thing. So today, I thought we'd do just that. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. You are adorable, Red Plum Thing. <laughs> So we have Rare Pong King to check out and as Crucible upgrades. And if you guys remember back in my initial reaction, I was absolutely obsessed with the look behind these trees over here. These trees, I was obsessed with these red ones down here. And I saw a notification in game and I think you can actually go ahead and bite. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There we are. The tree. And if you have a look at the description here, it refers to the grapefruit grove. It says the favorable conditions of the higher plane, which is where Gold Island and Amber Island are, how many species of tree from the grapefruit grove to thrive. That's so cool. Plantalote, Howlerberry, and Scoogeberry. That's amazing. So for you guys who don't know, the grapefruit grove game is a game in the Big Blue Bubble multiverse on as World Tree, the Stablo Majorica. And that wonderful tree links back to all of these different games. And we got a reference towards one of those games here. And the grapefruit grove game, I've actually had that downloaded. Back when I first downloaded My Singing Monsters, I also got Grapefruit Grove. I didn't play it at all. I think I played it for about five minutes, but I am familiar with it. And down here too, I noticed this is the biggest reference of them all. Where are we? Down here, monkey. There we go. Direct reference to Grapefruit Grove there. Those monkeys are the exact ones that you'd find inside of the game on the tile screen and stuff. Love all the references. It's such a shame that I didn't realize that. You win some, you lose some. Let's have a look at us Crucible upgrade then. Very excited about this, sort of. I don't know how to feel to be honest. <laughs> I've heard it's really hard, so we'll see how things go. Look at this. Some relics dotted outside in a more favorable door handle. The capabilities of the Crucible have been maximized in this enhanced upgrade. Oh, of course they go with enhanced. Enhanced everything, enhanced breeding structure. I want an enhanced Wallaby now, okay? Epic Wallaby, bring it to me, okay? <laughs> a bucket of sizzling relics. Sizzling. The burning here. Relics is poised to raise the heat to a whole new level. Glided embellishments of bound and a red carpet welcomes hopeful monsters aiming to achieve the highest form of their evolution the epic be warned don't worry we're already warned out enough because of these sizzling relics <laughs> already the enhanced crucible must raise its heat level to extremes in order to facilitate epic evolution and if it doesn't work the first time all of the residual heat dissipates instantly and the elemental flags fill well that's not very helpful at all additionally more keys than ever before will be needed to stabilize these evolutions. The power of the condensed ancient stardust from the big clangor contained within each key will be pushed to its limits. Wow. So it's saying here that keys are from the ancient stardust of the big clangor, which is in monstrous terms, the big bang of the monster world. That was pretty important law then. Explains why they have so much evolutionary potential in them. Oh, look at this icon. I'm not too sure how to feel about this. Look at this. It's overflowing there's too much going on. I've heard that this is really hard, so I'm unsure how to feel, but we're gonna give it a go. Blimey, it costs a lot of relics, this. You know, I've been saying give me something more to do with my relics, but I don't think this is it, Big Blue Bubble, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I think I wanna do it outside of Ember Island 2 with my relics. I feel like relics need something more. Look at all these relics I have. 3,000. Suppose these will give me something to do. I think it needs something outside of Ember Island 2. My word, this cater, it's gonna take all of me relics away. I honestly think this could be the return of the greedy old hag. For those of you who don't know, inside of my old Dawn of Fire videos when I was a kid, I called Kaner a greedy hag and I think the greedy hag is about to return you guys. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. If it's that hard for a Kaner, I, I don't even want to think about the other ones, okay? <laughs> when we start getting us epic fires that are only on Amber Island, I don't want to go there, okay? <laughs> Talk about hard. Oh man, epic Kaner. You better be worth it, honey. Now, I don't have minerals and the vein on here because it's my mobile account and I don't have them quite yet. I think I've filled out the vessels here. I just need to incubate. Bit weird for the vein, what I noticed. I've filled out all my eggs here, but it's still got the countdown. As soon as Noel's done in the nursery, I will be straight 
on them. I love Epic Kana's little purple glow. My favorite of the Kana's though has to be Rare Kana, and I've just got rid of it, Rare Kana's. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get another Rare Kana now. But in the meantime, shall we have a look at Epic Waddle now? Oh no. No. Yeah, Epic Waddle ain't coming anytime soon. What I really love about this skin is how it's not just the trees that tie back to Grapefruit Grove, it's also the fruits. I'm aware that the fruits found all the way around here actually go back to the Grapefruit Grove game. Like, if we go on over here, the blue ones to the side here and the Rubik's Cube ones. That makes sense now why the Rubik's Cube one was there. I did find that a bit weird. Looking back on it, why the Rubik's Cube was just randomly there. Makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it, MPG? <laughs> Come on, you got me going even more than Diamond Gobbler Vivania. And Snudge. I love my precious earned relics on Umbra Island. They're being gobbled up by you. The chances behind this thing, they're insane. They've got to increase the chances a bit behind this because this is just... This is ridiculous. Uh, and I've been going for ages and it's still not doing it. Yeah, the monster handlers, I think, are going to have to look at the chances behind this because it is a bit too much. It doesn't make sense to be putting relics back into the island you're making it from. That feels really weird to me. I think having the relic system there for the Crucible is fine, but I think absorbing so many, I don't think it's the solution behind this. Yeah, there we go. 23. Finally. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> I love Epic Waddle. Epic Waddle's the best of the variants. It deserves it a lot more than Epic Kano. Sorry, because I love Rare Kano. You made me get rid of that for that one. All right, you're going to take a while to play because Amber Island's song is longest of them all. So in the meantime, I saw something quite interesting in the bio I thought we could look at now. As you know, I love my Colossal's Law. And inside of this bio, I got with that it mentions a Colossal. So I thought we could look at that too. Great trees from little seeds grow. And that's certainly true of the echoes of Eco. Ooh, rhyming. I like it. The plant life trapped in hardened sap has burst forth from its sheath, transforming the island into an auspicious arboretum filled with exotic tree species from another dimension of the multiverse. It's the culmination of a years-long conservation effort called Project Seed, undertaken by the Amber Colossal to make sure the echoes of the unique flora of the Grapefruit Grove is forever preserved. That's so cool! Referencing that and the fact that as Amber Island, Colossal is the one behind it in the first place. I like the preservation aspect. One epic what we'll sing. Yeah, Waddle has the best time for me on Ember Island. It's my favourite, to be honest. A bit controversial, but I love the reference to Burn Island. It's everything to me. I'm so catchy. Right then. Last monster that we are all going to be getting today is Pong Ping. And the one which everyone's probably been waiting for me to get. So let's go ahead and get this thing now, shall we? It looked so cool when I saw it inside of the trailer, Rare Pong Ping. So quite excited to see. It was definitely my favourite looking Rare Fire. I feel like lots of the Rare Fires, they've all been the black colour scheme. They've been really unique the rare fires and they seem to be going in their own stride which i found really interesting but going back to a more colorful aesthetic i think is really cool for this one feels really weird though at the same time feels like pumping only just came oh there we go nice not as many diamonds as epic waddle and i wanted this one more yeah the epics need a bit of salt in it monster handlers i do think because the chances are behind that are just they're preposterous right let's have a look at this though for now oh it's so cute oh my goodness you are adorable red plum thing oh that's so so cute. Oh, Rooty Toot. Rare Rooty Toot. Broccoli guy. Move out of the way. There we go. Oh, look at the beard and mustache in there. Yeah, Frankenstein vibes are abound. We got mirrors for Pongs as well. <laughs> it's so wacky. Oh, I love it. All right, Rare Pong Ping. As befits any great athlete or musician, the Rare Pong Ping has absolutely phenomenal hair. Best hair I've seen in game. Not that you should ever be distracted by something superficial like that when you're assessing a being sportmanship or musicality. But it never hurts. Unlike the slapdash paddles of its common cousin, the Rare carefully crafts ornate and sturdy fans that can also double perfectly as marshalling ones. That can safely guide flying visitors to taxi successfully. To taxi. To Tusky. To Tusky. That was a missed out pun there, right? <laughs> Since the fans are quite a bit sharper as well, extra care must also be taken when striking its inflatable cheek. But that's no issue for the rare Pong Ping who practices mindfulness and meditation. A bit like Flamox. Oh, it's so cute. My favourite one so far. Please do make sure to go and watch this video if you enjoyed this. I will see you later though for now, guys. Bye.